Hey guys, it's Zoe and Noah, and today I am going to be reacting to some of your unpopular bookish opinions and telling you whether I agree with or disagree with these unpopular opinions. If you remember, uh, sometime last year, I think it was, I did a video where I talked about popular books I didn't like, and now I want to know what your unpopular opinions are. So I asked on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm just going to be going through some of them and seeing how much tea we can spill today. Please envision me sipping dramatically from my cup of tea over there. My hands are a little bit full right now, so I can't be my extra self. I dropped my phone, and this is... I should have tied my hair back before this. He was not hungry five minutes ago. So let's just dive right into this. I got a lot of unpopular opinions on both platforms and I'm really excited about these. So the first unpopular opinion we have here is Red, White, and Royal Blue was so bad I swear I almost died reading it. Like I said, I will protect you for this opinion because this one is quite unpopular. I remember when my friend Karis said that she did not like this one, she was attacked. Like actually, people said really mean things. It was awful. I loved Red, White, and Royal Blue. I did. It was cheesy. It, like, admittedly, it was, like, pretty shit, the writing, but it was so entertaining that I just didn't give a fuck. Here's the thing, it's a romance, right? If you know me, you know that <laughs> I will give a romance five stars. If they take their pants off, that's, that's pretty much my only stipulation, and I'm easily entertained. Okay, I need to Google this one, because I can't picture this one off the top of my head. The Chain of Iron cover is actually really pretty. Mm, I mean... I see what it was trying to do, but the fact that the title and her name, really all of the words on the cover, just kind of blend. Ugh. I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I hate it. Yeah, no, sorry Max, I can't agree with you on that one. Next up, not saying it's bad, but I have no interest in the Throne of Glass series. We all know that I cannot agree with this one because I am trash for Throne of Glass. It is what it is. I am 100% okay admitting that I am truly a basic bitch in every way possible, and I do love Throne of Glass. Next one, I cannot really give an opinion on, but let me know what you guys think. In my opinion, the American Gods TV show is way better than at least the first half of the book. They DNF'd it because they didn't know if enough, enough context of the mythology and the gods to follow the story, and kept wondering why they were reading it. It's valid. The show was amazing though. Have not read the book, have not seen the show. Should I do either? Let me know. And uh, I might get around to it later this year. Oh, so many, here we go. Shadowhunters is way too overhyped. Yes and no, it was really overhyped and probably too much, but like, I am a big fan. I haven't read any of the newer ones, but the ones that I have read, I'm a big fan. But it really could have stopped a long time ago. This next one is my absolute favorite. The Night Circus is the worst book I've ever read. That's accurate, that, that is up there. That is my hair getting pulled. And one, and two, and I will tie this back soon. Pure trash, and I don't understand why it's Booktube's favorite book. Well, one of them. It's absolute shit. Kind of like the one my son just took. He definitely just pooped. And also, one of the few that liked how the Divergent series ended. You cannot count me as one of those because I fully fall under popular opinion. I hated it. I remember being so fucking mad when I read that series. So I had read the first one when it first came out, right? And then I didn't read the second one. I don't know why. I just hadn't picked it up. And then someone got my little cousin the entire trilogy for Christmas right after the third one came out. I stayed up all night long binge reading the trilogy. I read all three books from about 7 p.m. I think I started and I finished I think I finished in 12 hours. Yeah, because we were going to Chicago the next morning to go see my aunt and my uncle that lived there and I just couldn't put them down. I was in love. But the last little bit, mm, that fucking book came out in 2013. It has been eight years. Do you have something to say to the class? <laughs> you also hated it? My son has taste. Eight years and I'm pissed. I am still pissed off. Oh my goodness, gracious me. Like I see why it happened, I get it, but I still hate it. Next up, Natasha liked the regrets. So here's the thing, when I saw this one, I was like, Natasha, what the fuck are you saying? I had to, I had to look it up. So I went on Goodreads 
and I saw all of the one star reviews. I've never read it. I didn't even know what the book was, but based on the synopsis alone, I'm gonna say hard pass, but like, should I read it? Is it is it that bad that like I, I need to read it and just revel in the badness? Cause like I might, I still haven't done my one star predictions vlog that I did the video for few years ago. Should we add that to the list? Possibly. The next one enjoyed the Match Trilogy and the Wake Trilogy. I've read Wake and Fade and I remember liking them a long time ago when I read them. Don't know if I'd like them now and I never finished the trilogy. With Matched, I read the first two again. Remember liking them? Looking back, would I like them or did I just have no taste? But I do have Reached and I will finish that trilogy. Will I enjoy it? Who knows? Next up, some of these books don't need to be a series. True, however, I don't really like standalones, so I will take all the extra information that really doesn't need to be there because some of it kind of does, in my opinion, like extra world building and stuff. For a lot of them, I think a duology would be fine. This, oh, this, okay. If you don't like popular books, don't bring it up. Again, I'm going to agree and disagree at the same time. Because if you do it and you don't make it your entire personality that you hate all of these popular books just because they're popular or just because you know a bunch of teenage girls like them. It, like if you're not doing that, that's great because discussion, super fun. I personally like hearing when people don't like the really popular stuff because it kind of takes it off a pedestal before I personally get to it. But the ones that it's like, you hate every single popular book just to hate them or just because you want to seem different, or like I said, you make it your entire personality, you can fuck right off with that. I'm not a fan. Stop selling special edition books for a higher price. Agreed. Give me all the special edition books, but I don't want to be paying 85 fucking US dollars for that shit. Because that means it's like 300 Canadian and uh, I don't want to be doing that. Spoilers can be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Generally, I don't like spoilers. But if it's like a, hey, this is actually something that's super harmful to a lot of people, spoil away, go for it. And if that's what you're talking about specifically, then I agree. Hated Catcher in the Rye. I read that in grade 10, I think, and I liked it. Again, was it just because I had no taste back then? Would I like it now? I don't know. I don't think Elias from An Ember in the Ashes deserves either Leia or Helene. I read the first book, I have not read the other ones, but I am planning on binging the series, especially because the hardcovers of the new cover came out. Looking forward to that. Mal in the Shadow and Bone books is not only boring, not only not boring, rather, but he's delicious. One of my all time book boyfriends. I don't like Mal. I don't like the Dark Light either. I I don't really care about any of the characters, actually. The whole series is kind of boring. I don't know if this is unpopular or popular. I, I don't, I don't quite know. But personally, I would not call a teenager one of my book boyfriends. I talked about this in my, what video was that? What did I just do? My mid-year freak out. I talked about it there. I'm pushing 30 and I don't, it, it, mm, calling a teenager a book boyfriend, fictional person, or otherwise, like, not a big, not, mm, I can't do that. That's just not right. Publishers are death gripping YA and trying to jam writers into it instead of moving older YA readers into adult books or books without age categories. Yeah, this whole aging down so it fits YA. Please, can we just let new adult happen? But also new adult should have been called young adult and young adult should have been new adult because you're young and then you're new. It doesn't make sense. You should have been new and then you're young, but I agree. Some of these books do not need to be YA and a lot of them feel like you don't, they weren't YA at first and then they were aged down. And I know I've seen a lot of authors talk about this, but it just doesn't, something feels off and I don't like it. Cassandra Clare and her 27 books could disappear tomorrow and my life would be a billion times better. They are just so boring and filled with so much incest. Like. I like them, but at the same time, kind of, yeah. I don't want to really talk too much about the incest part because I feel like it's spoilery, especially for the first trilogy. It was a weird choice. The Midnight Library is overhyped. I don't even know what the Midnight Library is about. I hate the Hunger Games trilogy. That's blasphemous, okay. I still can't even think about the books or the movies without crying. Most YA books don't need romances, especially when the main character is too insecure to have a happy, healthy relationship. Fucking right. Can we just get more? platonic relationships. We don't need romantic relationships. 
Like, a lot of teenagers don't actually even have romantic relationships until later on. I personally didn't have my first boyfriend until I was 19? I was 20. I was 20 before I had my first boyfriend. I would have liked to see a lot more platonic relationships because I, for one, was too damn insecure as a teenager to have a happy, healthy relationship. And I know a lot of these bitches out there too are like that. The Stormlight Archive books are overrated. Have not read them, want to read them. Is this true? But should I read them anyways? Let me know. And finally, from this original tweet, no, that's not finally. Holy shit, it didn't load. There's a lot more in here. <laughs> oh my God. No one way to read is superior to the other. I agree. It doesn't matter if you read two or 200 books in a year, either way, you're a reader. Agree. I didn't love The Night Circus, it was tediously written. Hands fucking down, this is true. To put it nicely, it was tedious. Dog-earing books is okay if it's your book. Personally, I don't like to. However, do what you want with your own damn books. Just please don't do them to mine. If I mess up my book, it's fine. If I spill shit, if I rip something, if I accidentally do something to it, I don't care. It's mine. I did it. It's fine. If you do it to my books, I won't be upset because it's my property. However, do whatever the fuck you want to your own books. If dog earring makes you happy, dog ear away. If annotating makes you happy, highlight the shit out of that book. Write all your notes in there. I support you and your annotations. I like when authors tell just as much as when they show. It depends. It honestly depends on the book and the writing style. If it works for that book, go for it. However, personally, I do like showing more than telling. Oh, here we go. If it's a good story, spoilers won't hinder your enjoyment. I disagree. Even if like it's really re well written, I just, I, I like being surprised whether I'm right about a theory, whether I'm wrong about a theory. If I go into it knowing that, it's, it takes away some of the enjoyment for me. The third act breakup in romance novels hinders some stories instead of strengthening them. If we could get away with not doing the third act breakup ever again, I'd be happy. Enemies to lovers is, is, is exhausting to read. Hard pass on this opinion. I love enemies to lovers. It is superior to friends to lovers. I said it. Ebooks are better than physical books. I'm gonna have to disagree. It hurts my eyes to read ebooks. I personally like physical copies because I can read them without being in pain. I don't know if this is still an unpopular opinion, but Never Night is not good. The author? Jay, you really need to shut the fuck up <laughs> and um, really dig deep and send out some good fucking apologies for some of the shit you've said and done. Hmm. However, I love Nevernight. Is it Gabaldon or Gabaldon? Gabaldon. I don't know. Either way, she should have stopped at Outlander. I've only read the first one, and it was quite a task to get through like the first two, three hundred pages, but I did end up enjoying it a lot. I like the show, haven't read the other books, but I want to read the other books. I do. The Infernal Devices series is the worst. Which one is that? Infernal Devices is the one with Will and Tess? and Jem, is that the one? I liked it. I did like it. I don't remember much more than that though. I remember reading them with Karis and I remember liking them as I was going through, but like go looking back, would I still enjoy them? I don't know. Priory of the Orange Tree was average at best and just plain boring. I'm gonna have to disagree. Although I was quite upset that it was just one book, I would love more in that world. Unfortunately, it's a standalone and I have thoughts about standalone fantasy, especially adult fantasy. Red Rising is not good. I read the first book, liked it. Haven't read the other ones, but I'm really intrigued. Oh, this one hurts me. This one fucking hurts. I am one of the many few that like the ending of the Queen of the Tearling series. I know you hate it and I understand. How many fucking times have I ranted about this goddamn fucking book? I hated it. I hated it. I hated it so much. Are you fucking kidding me? Ooh. Oh, mm -mm. Ooh. I'm gonna move on because I'm gonna get heated and I wanna be heated. I didn't like the book Thief. I feel like lots of people loved it and I feel like it's one of the few people who didn't like it. It was average at best. I've read better books. It was a cool concept, but I just did not care about the characters. I didn't, I didn't cry. I might have like maybe teared up a little bit at the end, but I was expecting to go into it bawling. But I didn't, because it was just average. It was very average, very overhyped. I think if I saw some negative reviews or people who just didn't love it before I went into it, 
I wouldn't have had such high expectations, but that didn't happen. And that's also what happened with the Night Circus and also Daisy Jones and the Six because they were all just so overhyped and just trash. I'm fine. Huh, speaking of, Daisy Jones and the Six was boring or rather I just didn't care. Same, same, boring. I only cared in the last 20 pages and that was not enough to make me care about the rest of the fucking book. Oh my God, another one I, co I totally agree with. They both die at the end isn't sad. Another one that if I saw some people be like, hey, this wasn't like the greatest, you might not love it, I would have gone into it with lower expectations. But I went into it expecting to cry from page one to the last page. Not a single tear was shed. Not one. And it might have been because I was listening to the audiobook and I just really didn't like the narrators. You're telling me that the bitch who cries at everything, literally everything didn't cry once in a book where it tells you in the title that these characters that you're gonna get attached to are gonna die at the end I didn't I, I didn't cry once what the fuck make it make sense Ooh, ninth house is really overhyped haven't read it yet but i've been wanting to but i remember being at book on when everybody was like the stampede for this arc and then i remember certain people taking pictures with other people's arcs, making it seem like they got it because they wanted to think people to think that they got it, but they didn't. Like this, this book was the book. I still haven't read it, but now that I see people saying that it's overhyped and actually like really agreeing with it, I'm gonna go in with lower expectations. I didn't like the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I did like that one a lot. That one I really liked and I possibly because I went into it expecting to hate it because I had just read Daisy Jones and the Six right before. Game of Thrones is ham-fisted and clunky. It uses violence for shock value to cover for the fact that it isn't half as clever as it thinks it is. I really liked Game of Thrones. Never really watched too much of the show but I, I like the books. It, yeah, it kind of is. Doesn't stop me from liking it but yeah, I agree. Six of Crows sucks. I liked Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom a lot better than Shadow and Bone, but Shadow and Bone, like I said before, not really a huge fan. Caraval is shit. Bubsy, get away from this bottle. I liked Caraval, but at the same time I hated it because the main character, was it Scarlet in that one and Tess is her sister in this, Tella? T tell, tell, Tella? Tessa? I don't know, I haven't read the other ones, but I liked everything except the main character. She pissed me right the fuck off. Hated that bitch. I thought The Great Gatsby was boring AF. I haven't read it since high school, but I liked it in high school. I hate Oscar Wilde's style of stating the obvious and thinking it's funny. It's not. You're not clever. I've only read The Importance of Being Earnest, and I liked it a lot. I read that for something about British lit in university, but I liked it. Am I gonna read anything else? Maybe, maybe not. The Fault in Our Stars book wasn't really that good. The movie was yeah. better. Haven't read the book, haven't seen the movie, and I'm not gonna do either. I have no desire. People would feel less attached to sh authors who do and say shitty things if they allowed themselves to find more than 100 authors to enjoy. Yes. So that was it from Twatter. Now, let's move on to the Graham. The Sun is also a star. Shouldn't have been a romance novel. It would have been better if they became friends instead. I have no opinion. I've never read The Sun is also a star and I don't plan to. Colleen Hoover needs to stop writing books and I cringe whenever someone reads her. I don't think I've read a single Colleen Hoover book and I don't think I am ever going to. I just have no desire to. Can you... This is why I cannot wear jewelry, I cannot wear my hair down. I want it to look nice for a video. And my children said, fuck you, mom. Pride and Prejudice is boring. I also haven't read Pride and Prejudice. I don't know why, I just, I haven't read any of her books, but I want to, but I've just never gotten around to it. Another Shadowhunter one, here we go. The Shadowhunter books suck and should have ended a long time ago. I'm still annoyed that after City of Glass, it's the copy I have literally fucking says in the dust jacket, the last book in that trilogy. And then a few years go by and it's like, surprise, we did more because it made lots of money. Honey, get your coin, go for it. However, really could have stopped a long time ago. Will I continue to read them? Will I read the new ones? Yeah, I will because I'm a basic bitch and I'm a hoe for them. Could have stopped and we would have all been fine. The Cruel Prince is terrible. Another opinion with sense. My God, it was garbage. Am I gonna read the other books? Yeah. 
because I have a thing about finishing series. I need to do it. I have to. I'm a nosy bitch and I need to know how things end. But the first one was garbage and I hope the other ones are better. There can never be too much queer rep. Absolutely. 100%. Your other opinion. I don't... Mm, Hardbacks aren't enjoyable to read. I worry about damaging them too much to enjoy it. Like, yes, I do worry about damaging my pretties. However, most of my books I've had for so long that they are damaged in some way that like, why do I even care anymore? But I do prefer reading hardcover over paperback and hardcover, hardcover? Hardcover over ebooks or anything. Oh, this is a two-parter. Okay, okay. In romance, after the big bust up, they just get back together and it's all fine immediately. Like, things take time and need work. Get back together, but don't try and solve it like it's magic. Some real world advice. Yeah, a lot of the times it's like, they don't even have a big conversation. Sure, they might have one off page, but like, a bitch wants to see that, okay? Healthy communication in relationships, you need to tell each other who fucked up, how they fucked up, you probably both fucked up. Work it out, talk about these things so you can learn and grow as a couple. Cause like, if there was a big miscommunication between my husband and I, and we just kind of stormed off and it's like, that's the end of this relationship. And then like 30 seconds later, we just pretend that it's all fine and dandy and just sweep it under the rug. That like, we would need some serious therapy down the line. Also, I just, I wouldn't let that happen like the not talking about it because communication is key kids okay fucking talk to each other oh my god grown-ass adults just not talking about things your communication is shit work on it oh in romance when it always ends in a marriage like happily it not not uh, not every happy ever after has to be marriage I agree. Not everybody wants to get married. Maybe you just you just want to cohabitate for a long time. You don't want to do the official thing. And that's fine and fucking dandy. You don't need to get married if you don't want to. You need to have kids if you don't want to. And we should see that in this traditionally published romance. Sir, you don't want to drink, but you don't want to burp, but you don't want to sit. Are you trying to shit again? Do you need assistance? Let's football this bitch. Next up. One last stop was boring. Ooh. Ooh, is that out yet? Or is it still arcs? Either way, I've seen a lot of love for it. I do want to read it because like I said, I was trash for red, white, and royal blue, but it's nice to see a less than stellar opinion on it. I always read with a dust jacket on. Same. I don't understand when people take off the dust jacket. I don't get it. I, I don't. I love the dust jackets. I like seeing the books underneath. Like some of them are very pretty. However, the dust jacket is key. Take this with a grain of salt, they say. Okay. We need more YA male leads. I don't know if it's just not on my radar and I have been kind of out of touch with YA recently. One, I've been on a book buying ban. Two, a lot of it has just been disappointing. Except I just finished Beasts of Prey yesterday or the day before. Loved it. It was so fucking good. 10 out of 10. When it comes out, you need to read it. Very few of my books are male leads in YA. And a lot of my books are YA because this is my collection from my whole life and I read a lot of YA back in the day. Hey, it rhymes. But yeah, it would have been nice to see more male leads, um, especially more like anxious male leads, more like nerdy, just the, not just like confident jock types. Although confident jocks who are like on the surface, but underneath are super anxious beans and cinnamon rolls. 10 out of 10 would have loved to see that. I think the night circus failed to match up with the hype. The plot didn't deliver. Again, you're totally right. And you should say it. I DNF the Raven boys cause TBH was kind of boring and I didn't care about anyone other than who, who the preview didn't show me other than blue. I liked him. I like, I've read the first three. I haven't read the last one. I liked the first three. I didn't love them the way some people seem to didn't love, 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 love. I liked. It was like a strong like, but not love. This baby needs to make up his damn mind. He's pulling the bottle to him and then pushing it away at the same time. Trilogies have more story, uh, oops. We're gonna ignore that. More story complexity than a six book series. Like I could see that. However, I will take a six book series over a trilogy any day. Because like I've said before, I'm here for the little details and the world building as long as the writing's not shit and it's not completely boring. Maggie Stiefvater, Stiefvater is overrated. I don't know if I'm gonna read any of the other books by her, but like 
Friends to lovers is better than enemies to lovers. Like I said before, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Enemies to lovers is the worst trope out there. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but some opinions are wrong. Okay, it is not the worst trope out there. Not for me, however. A lot of authors have fallen into the just like, we dislike each other to lovers. But I wanna see some like, we've been trying to murder each other for several years. And then the process actually needs to be there and it needs to be believable. But a lot of the times it's just not done well. But when it's done well, it's the best trope in the world. John Green only writes horrible books. They're the worst. I have not read a single John Green book and I won't. I don't want to. I have no desire to read anything by that man. Sarah J Mass and Cassandra Clare are overrated. Abby, what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, yeah, their books are really, really hyped. And like, I've already talked about Cassandra Clare, but I am super, super, super trash for all of Sarah J Mass. I am, and I'm not upset to admit that. Do I have no taste? Probably. Again, I'm a basic bitch. I'm gearing up for pumpkin spice latte season, except not the lattes because coffee's nasty. Pumpkin spice chai season. I'm planning on having a mix of fall vibes and Christmas vibes for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna take down my Christmas tree ever, but also I don't wanna take down any fall decorations. I like Sarah J Maas. <laughs> it's now several hours later. My camera battery died. Noah shit a lot more. I had to change me shit twice actually. Cardi came home, Kurt came home, everyone was gone. And I had four unpopular opinions left and everything died and then my phone died too. So let's just go through these last four super quick. The Magicians is trash. Never read it, don't know what The Magicians even is really. Shannon, is that how you say it? Maguire is overrated. Never read any of those books. I kind of want to, but I don't know for sure. Ninth House was boring. So another one saying, Zoe, maybe, maybe just hold your fucking horses with Ninth House. Ace of Spades is one of the most intricate magic systems I've read and it's underrated. I really liked Ace of Spades when I read it. I haven't read the other books, but I've read Ace of Spades or Ace of Shades. That's the real question. Ace of, Ace of Shades. Ace of Spades is that new uh, YA thriller that I want to read. But yeah, I haven't read the other books. I've read the first one, I really liked it. Is this even in focus anymore? Who the fuck knows, who cares? Karis, my goodness. Sarah J Mass is overhyped. You know what? I still love you anyways. We're gonna, we're gonna have some words here, me and, me and Karis, okay? Zoe's the best booktuber ever. How is that an unpopular opinion? My mom thinks so, so it's gotta be a popular opinion, right? What do you mean people don't think I'm the best booktuber ever? You can read bad books and still enjoy them. I agree. That is my entire brand. I read trash and I love it. Like I have just finished my reread of the It Girl series. I'm probably gonna reread Gossip Girl and um, The Click because they're so bad that they're just good. They're so entertaining. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Karis had an opinion on red, white, and royal blue and was attacked for it. And here she comes back with it. It ain't shit. It's one of the worst books she's ever read. Sorry, not sorry. I am unsurprised to see that. And the last one. I don't like reading a book I know will make me cry. Same. I am not emotionally stable enough for that, okay? Talk to me, baby. I don't want to flash anyone here. Okay, five bucks. Um, I'm not emotionally stable enough to read something that I know is gonna make me cry. Before, I like, I was fine reading something that I thought would make me cry. Um, the older I get, the less okay I am with it. The more children I have, the less okay I am with it. Especially when I'm pregnant, I'm just always crying and I don't wanna read something I know is gonna make me cry even more. Dude, were you blowing spit bubbles again? Is that what's happening here? A glistening neck. Okay, bye. Did you just put a whole smudge on there? Oh, thank you. Mwah! I love you. No, oh, you got lipstick on me. I, I got lipstick on you. Ow, 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 earring, earring, holy shit. No, 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 no. We're good. Anyways, that is the last of the unpopular opinions. Nope, nope, other earring. I'm taking these out. 
Sit with Mama. Sit with Mama. Oh my goodness. This is going to be dangerous. Can I can I get through this with these in? Now he's playing over here with his wipes. Sir, enough with the grinkling. We're done. Carter, do you have any unpopular opinions? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boomba. Say hi. Say hi. Do you have any unpopular opinions? Share with the class. Share with the class. Let me know and let Carter know down below if you think my opinions are trash, if you agree with any of them, if you disagree, if you have any unpopular opinions of your own. Um, but let's keep it civil in the comments, okay? No hating. If somebody has a truly unpopular opinion. Wee! Can you stop eating my mom's hair tie? Stop licking me. This kid is ridiculous. Or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below. Preferably purple ones because that's my favorite color. Or blue because that's the color of both of my boys' eyes. What a beautiful, beautiful little boy. Did you just burp on Mama again? As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, and if I am forming any unpopular opinions, or popular ones, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at Zoe's All Booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box, along with a few other links that I still cannot fucking remember because I am a hot mess. This is what happens when you've got ADHD and you have children back to back. Okay, if you eat Mama's phone, oh, you're eating Mama's phone. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Anyways, um, where was I? Where was I? Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. <laughs> Hi! And, uh... Cardi, what do I say next? What do I say next? Oh, yes. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. Uninterrupted speaking time, too. Because that's just not a thing when there's a toddler in the house. I love you awesome nerds, and I will see you in the next one. With likely one or both of my children. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Whoops! Say hello YouTube, I am the silliest child in the whole world. I am silly.